Welcome back. We are here on eToro looking at the cryptocurrency market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, December 10, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit, like, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our live trades and courses. So the link is down below in this video. So there was a lot of action in the market today, mainly due to the appreciation of the US dollar, Brexit talks in, United, in Europe, and also stimulus talks in the United States. And that is going to cause a lot of noise throughout the market, not just the cryptocurrency market, but technically everywhere. So we saw Bitcoin fall all the way down to 17,550. Very round number. And at this moment, the 20 exponential moving average is still holding. We went way down below the 20 exponential and then rallied again. And that is quite fascinating that we have tested this 20 exponential so often and have been rejected time and time again. At this point, the RSI is down at 54. That is really low for Bitcoin. It usually is up here at the 90s and 80s and so on. So we'll probably have enough momentum at this point to go and test the 20,000 level. That is a possibility. It also is also possible that we break the 20 exponential, head towards the 50, and then go much, much lower in this market. So if you look at the long, if you take the Fibonacci here and way up here, we can see that the first Fibonacci retracement is here at 13,666. The second one is at the 200 moving average at 11,814. And that is plausible that we go down there, but we need to break the 20 exponential. We need them to break the 50. We also need to break 15,000 and then head towards 12,500 and the 200 moving average. It is plausible. Bitcoin has done this before. If you look back to 2017, we were in a very, very similar situation where we had this massive um, increase in the value of Bitcoin and then it completely collapsed towards first the 50 moving average in the weekly chart, rallied again, and then towards the 200 moving average in the weekly chart. At this point, the 20 exponential in the weekly chart is here. It's right at the previous highs here at 13,831. Then we have the 50 here at 10,000 and so on. So it is possible that we are going to head towards at least this previous size. If you look at the technical indicators for the weekly chart, they are looking dreadful. We are overbought. The CCI is becoming negative. The stochastic is going navigate negative, and the um, and the uh, MACD is turning around. So the weekly chart is indicating that we are going to go lower. This was probably a double top, and we're not going to see. Um, um, or there are basically two scenarios. One that is basically that we rally above the 20,000, head for 25,000. And the other one is basically to look at the, the weekly chart and see that this does not look very good for Bitcoin. These indicators are showing that in the long run, in the next uh, three, four, five weeks, we are most likely going to head towards 15,000 and then probably lower from there. So just keep that in mind that it is risky to buy it here, even though that the daily chart shows that the 20 exponential moving average is holding. So just keep that in mind. So let's look at Ethereum. We can see a very similar picture here, even, even actually better, even more, we are creating a hammer here in, in, in Ethereum. So technical indicators for this cryptocurrency are looking very, very bearish at this point. Uh, due to the fact that we have ra uh, rallied above the 20 exponential from this breakdown, that is an encouraging sign. Uh, but, but I would hesitate to buy this at this point. If we start to see a green candlestick here, then yes, that is possible to target these highs. But if we start trading underneath the 20 exponential, then we're probably going to test that 500 
uh, dollar level here. So keep that in mind. At this point, it is very uncertain where we are going, but it's an encouraging sign that we are trading above the 20 and we have rallied above and are trading here and created this hammer. That is an encouraging sign. If we see this ind indicator starting to turn around tomorrow or on Friday session, that is probably an indication that we are going to go higher. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.